So part of the build for the card display is actually going to be making sure that your binder clips are on the twine and not sliding back and forth down the thing because one of the things you'll notice is that it is angled so it has the potential to do that. So what I wound up doing in order to get that done was I used a particular knot that basically I had to thread it on this particular one. Your binder clips may have bigger holes and fit easier but in my case I made a modified needle so that I can get it through the hole on there and then pulled the loop on the string through there and that way it gives me the setup for the knot so then you basically take that loop and you're going to pull it so that it's over the other piece of string and there's a way that you can actually do it when it's already on there that you don't have to pull the entire end of the string through but in this case I was just doing it to get it out there so you go ahead once you've done that, you've got this little loop here with the strings on there. I don't remember what this knot is called. I'm sure a Boy Scout could tell me. But the nice thing with it is it prevents the binder clip from moving back and forth down the string without you wanting it to. And it makes it so that it'll lay flat against the backboard on the card display. And then if you need to move it up or down the line, you can just pull up, get a loose knot, and then just tighten it with one side or the other and it'll help it move one way or the other down the string. So I hope that is a help to you and that is what I did. So.